Hi, I'm so excited that you're here. So we are looking at the series called Heaven's Hospitality, and we are examining through the lens of five ethics that people lived by in the biblical Middle East. And using that as our lens, as we look at different Bible stories, uh, what we're gonna find is that hospitality often reveals our character. It's in those small moments of living out hospitality that people will know who we are and what we stand for. Well, in today's Bible story in Genesis 19, one through 26, we're gonna learn a lot about the character of Lot. And what we need to know is just before this section happens, Abraham has been pleading with God to spare the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah because God had let him know that he's about to destroy them. And Abraham kept pleading with God until the point where he said, if there are only 10 righteous people, would you spare them? And God ended up saying, if there are 10 righteous people, I will spare Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's where this story begins in Genesis 19, one through 26. And this is what the Bible tells us. Well, the two angels appeared at the city gate where Lot was sitting. And when he saw them, he immediately got up and ran over to them and he bowed down. And he said, please come and stay at the house of your servant and wash your feet and I will give you food to eat. But the angels said, no, we will not go home with you. We will stay here in the street. But Lot kept begging them, please, you must come. And he begged them so much that they actually agreed and went to go stay at his house. Well, when they got to Lot's house, he began to prepare food for them. And he made unleavened bread. And when they were about to eat their evening meal, before they set out to go to bed, the men in the city of Sodom gathered around his door. And they began to call out to Lot, Lot! Where are those men that you brought home with you? Bring them out so that we can have sex with them. Well, Lot got up and he, he opened up the door and shut it behind him and went out and said, don't do this evil thing. I, I've brought these men into my home and they're under the protection of my roof. I have two daughters and they have not been with any men. You may do with them as you wish, but do not harm these men that I am to protect. And the men said, who does he think he is? He comes to us as a foreigner and now he thinks he's our judge. We'll do worse to you lot than we will do to these men. And at that very moment, the angels opened up the door and they pulled Lot in and they struck all the men in the city, old and young, blind, so that they were groping around because they couldn't even find the door. Well, then the angels began to urge Lot, do you have anyone in the city, anyone that you need to warn because it's about to be destroyed. You must go tell them they must leave immediately. Well, Lot went outside because his sons-in-laws were out there and he told them you need to flee because the city's going to be destroyed. And they laughed at him <laughs> and didn't take him seriously. When Lot went back in, the angels at dawn were telling them, you must flee, hurry, you must flee. But Lot hesitated. So the angels grabbed Lot's hands and the hands of his daughters and his wife, and they took them and began to flee with them out of the city of Sodom and Gomorrah so that they would not be destroyed. And they told them, you must run, you must flee, you must not look back. Go until you reach those mountains because everything in here is going to be destroyed in the valley, the people and the plants. And Lot said, oh, I, I can't go to that, that mountain. I, I will surely be destroyed. Do you see that small little city over there? Could I, could I please just go there? And the Lord agreed, fine. I will not destroy that city for your sake, but go and do not look back. And then Lot's wife 
looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. When they made it to the city of Zoar, which means little city, fire fell down from heaven and it completely wiped out the city and all that was in the valley, men and plants, everything. And Abraham had gone out to the place where he had pleaded with God and he saw the sulfur and the smoke and how it had consumed everything. But God, when he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he remembered Abraham. And because of Abraham, he spared Lot when he destroyed those cities. May God honor the telling of his word. As you think on this story, I want you to ask yourself, how was Lot communal? Were the men of the city communal? Were they thinking of all the people? Or were they only thinking of themselves? And what about the two men, the angels of God? Were they communal? In what ways did Lot model being sacrificial and generous? And in what ways was God sacrificial and generous to Lot? And in what ways did Lot welcome the plan of God and the presence of God and the invitation to bring God's plan to the people he was interacting with? And what were the outcomes of those decisions? It's a pretty powerful thought. How might we need to do that today in our own world? And what does our hospitality reveal about us and the small moments in our character? Shalom, y'all.